What's up, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to my WWE Night of Champions predictions video, accompanied by uh, 2K15 CPU matches, etc., etc., and brought to you by Mountain Dew. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get right down to it. Gonna try to make this, uh, you know, as uh, short as possible. I know I tend to ramble on about wrestling because you know I like wrestling. Uh, but the kickoff show on this card is. Neville and the Lucha Dragons versus Stardust and the Ascension, aka the Cosmic Wasteland. And all those guys are perfectly competent wrestlers. I'm sure that match will be okay for, you know, a kick a kickoff show match. But not really a whole lot of consequence there either way. They've been doing this Stardust Neville thing for a while now, and while I do really enjoy the work of Cody Rhodes, it's just kind of not going anywhere. So uh, not a whole lot on the line here, like, the whole feud is kind of nebulous and it's weird. Um, so, I'm gonna say faces win here, uh, Neville and the Dragons, because it's the pre-show, it's the kickoff show, kind of who cares, you know, you have the, have the faces win on the kickoff show. So, this show is gonna have two matches from, uh, Mr. Seth Rollins, so... Logic would dictate that the first match on the show proper is going to be Seth Rollins versus John Cena, giving him enough time to, you know, get enough rest before his second match in the main event against Sting. So, Cena versus Rollins for the United States Championship. Uh, I think one way or another, Rollins will lose one belt. I don't think he'll lose both, but I think he'll lose one belt tonight. And, uh, smart money would be on him losing the U.S. title to Cena at the open of the show. Now, it could go either way. He could retain the U.S. belt and then lose to Sting in the main event. Um, but I think he'll go one and one. And I think he will, uh, lose the U.S. belt, uh, in a match against Cena because it's John Cena. Um... Now, I don't know how you eventually work Cena back into the world title picture, uh, but hey, that's for creative creative to decide, not me. That moves us into, uh, I guess, this match, Dolph Ziggler versus Rusev, which obviously is sure to have uh, interference from Summer Rae, or maybe they'll ban her from ringside, or I don't know. There'll be, there obviously, like, perhaps won't be any shenanigans with Lana, because she's out with that wrist injury, unless they pull a Cowboy Bob Orton and give her a nice big thick metal cast and just pop! That, that'd be cool. Um, but, like, I don't know how her being, have a, having a wrist injury means she has to be out of TV. Like, obviously, they, they've, they've done those angles with guys with, you know, casts and chest protectors and whatever else uh, back in the Attitude Era. Face masks and, you know, all that good stuff. So, end of the day, Ziggler Rusev, who wins this match? Who cares? Like, this whole angle, which they've been dragging out way too long, uh, and you would imagine eventually is going to have Rusev and Lana reuniting, hopefully, uh, because they're certainly better as a pair than they are apart. Um, another match where the stakes are kind of whatever, and obviously this whole thing has been making just Dolph look like an asshole, and look like a heel, even though he's supposed to be the face of the match. Uh, so, I will say that... I'm going to give it to Rusev. Obviously, the last match was a double countout, uh, and that was unfortunate. But I'm going to say give it to Rusev, because goddamn, he is just... For all the shit they are giving Rusev, he is just managing to be entertaining to me every single week. So I think he should get it, uh, even though... We, oh, face... Blah, blah, blah. Fuck. They're just... I'm just so tired of whatever they, this face run for Ziggler. Like, the dude's a heel. Come on. And that moves us into, uh, honestly, my most uh, anticipated match of the night, but not for the wrestling, is the Wyatt family, which is Bray Wyatt, um, the other guy, and the other guy, uh, Braun Strowman and Luke Harper. Uh, Lou Harper! Uh, because obviously Eric, 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 Eric Rowan is still hurt. Um, versus Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and a mystery partner of their choosing, 
Uh, and that, of course, is the most interesting thing of the night, because we don't actually know who that mystery partner is going to be. Uh, there was an internet, supposedly an internet leak about Baron Corbin, which, considering his current character in NXT as the Lone Wolf, makes no fucking sense. Um, they've been preaching up this whole family angle for a long time, so hey, The Rock's between movies, it could be The Rock. Um, I think that, uh, if you want to go with Samoan family, it could be Samoa Joe. Uh, you know, there are a number of different options you could take here. You know, the long shots being guys like Daniel Bryan, you never fucking know. Like, they keep saying, oh, he's hurt, he's hurt, he's hurt. Or, you know, the doctors won't clear him. But what if they secretly already cleared him? Imagine the pop in that arena for something like Daniel Bryan. Uh, so, uh, obviously we know it's not going to be Hulk Hogan. Uh, and we know it's not going to be CM Punk. Uh, but otherwise, there are a lot of options on the table as to who it could be. So, regardless of who it is, I think any time you bring in a mystery opponent... The team with the mystery opponent, or the mystery participant, is going to be the winning team simply for the mystery. You don't bring in a mystery opponent and then have the Wyatt's family win that match. That doesn't make any sense. With that zigzag, I missed that. And three. Yeah, yeah, Dolph Ziggler, whatever. So, I don't think you bring in a mystery guy and have uh, the Wyatt's win that match, even though they had their big new giant, you know... Brawny man, whatever. Um, so, faces go over, Wyatt's lose once again, because that's what they're good at. Uh, and move on to the next match, which is for the Intercontinental title. It is The Ryback versus Kevin Owens. And this one for me is hard to call only because I want Owens to win. Uh, because what exactly has Ryback done during his reign as IC champ? The only reason... He's IC champ in the first place is because Daniel Bryan was out of action uh, pretty shortly after winning the belt. It was supposed to be, we're going to rebuild the IC belt and we're going to rebuild the US belt with Cena and Daniel Bryan because obviously your world champion at, at the time was Brock Lesnar and he was not on every show. And if that, you have your two touring brands, you know, no world champion, two, two touring brands with those belts, your two big stars, Cena and Bryan. Obviously, Bryan... Uh, getting hurt again, uh, totally fucked that all up. So they gave it to, they gave it to the Ryback, and what has he what has he done since since winning it? He queued it with the Big Show and the Miz. Holy shit, that's boring. So that being said, going into a feud with Kevin Owens uh, and potentially putting the belt on Kevin Owens, giving him something significant to do on the show every week would be great. I think Kevin Owens is a hell of a wrestler, and uh, I don't want to see him fall into the same trap that guys like Bray Wyatt and guys like Rusev fell into after having their feud with John Cena. So, that being said, this being the first meeting of Ryback and Owens for a title, I think Ryback retains the title here. Only because uh, I think they're going to dra dra drag this out one more pay-per-view. I think next time around, uh, next pay-per-view, I'm not sure what, what that actually is, uh, they'll give it to Owens, but in this first match, I think Ryback managed to retain just barely. Um, and then we move on to the tag team titles, uh, with The New Day and Those Damn Dudleys. Now, you brought back the Dudley Boys after how many years? You keep calling them the most decorated tag team in the history of forever. And you keep emphasizing they are nine-time WWE champs that want to be ten-time WWE champs. So, the question is, do you give them that tenth win in their first tag team title match after returning a couple of weeks ago? Do you give them that, that quick? Or, does the numbers game with uh, the New Day defeat the Dudleys. I think that'd be a great rub for the New Day. I think they're just killing it every single week. Um, but the question is, is the belt going to change hands here, uh, or is there going to be some shenanigans? So I'd like to think that, once again, uh, the belt here is going to get retained by the New Day because of the numbers advantage, and that would mean... Is it Tombstone? 
that would mean that uh, the Dudleys would have to recruit a third guy, and they're not going to get Sp Spike because he's doing like he's like an insurance guy now. He's fucking back in the real world, not not wrestling. Uh, do they get really? Okay. Do they get a third guy for that? Uh, how is that going to you know pan out? So, yeah, I think at the end of the day, I'm hope Because here, here's the thing. You can't have every belt change hands at Night of Champions. That would be messed up. Um, that would be just bad booking. You have to have some of those belts get retained. So I think that the tag team titles are going to get retained. Fingers crossed, because the, the New Day are fucking awesome. Uh, anyway, that moves us on to the Divas match. Nikki Bella... And Charlotte. Uh, now, those who watched my discussion on Monday Night Raw this past week, of the season premiere of Raw, uh, not too thorough with the finish of that match, uh, and the blind referees, etc., etc. So I guess the question there remains is, do they give the belt to Charlotte? Is, are they finally going to get the belt off of Nikki, now that they've finally, uh, out of spite, broken AJ Lee's record because they're still mad at CM Punk. Are they just going to, okay, we, we use you for our goals here to get back at AJ and vis-a-vis -vis Punk. Uh, now we can get the belt on somebody who can actually put together a competent match. You know, in theory. Uh, so they teased it on Raw uh, and obviously didn't do it because it's the twin magic. So do they put the belt on Charlotte here? This is a hard one, because uh, I can kind of see arguments on, on both sides, but at the end of the day, it's the Divas title, and, and uh, until they make it more important, it's kind of just a prop for Total Divas. So the question becomes, is losing the title going to be a plot line for the next season of Total Divas? I think yes. So, I think that Charlotte will win the belt here from Nikki. I think that... That'll be an ongoing plotline. They'll fucking, you know, make up their re re reality show bullshit, whatever else. Uh, and I think that makes for a good story. And then certainly uh, we can have, you know, that creates some dissension among Team PCB. Uh, that makes for good matches with number one contenders from any number of their new divas. You know, you could have Sasha Banks, you could have Paige, you could have... Um, just, you know, anybody but Tamina, I guess, is, 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 is the answer there. Anybody but Brie Bella. But yes, plenty of great singles matches you could have. Plenty of great triple threat matches you could have. But I'm asking you one thing. Just give us a story. Give us something. And I think having Charlotte win it and then having Paige and... Uh, what's her face? Um, I can't think of the other girl. Uh, Becky Lynch. Having Paige and Becky be mad about her winning the thing or being like, no, I'm better than you are, which is kind of the basis of wrestling. I'm a better wrestler than you are. And then having great singles matches, that could be good. So, fingers crossed that'll happen. Uh, so yes, my prediction, Charlotte for the win. Anyway, the main event, which is not this match, uh, one would hope the main event is going to be uh, The Stinger. Stinger, come to the White Castle Affair, Stinger. Um, versus, uh, the world champion, Seth Rollins. Now, does Seth Rollins retain this belt tonight, the world title? I think he does. But, does Seth Rollins win this match? That is the question. Because certainly, he could win the match, but, uh, Sting could win the match, but not win the belt. There are a number of ways to do shitty finishes, and this is not a major pay-per-view, so sure, there might just be a shitty finish. It's Night of Champions, who really cares? Um, so that being said, uh, I think that Sting wins this match. But, I don't think Sting wins the belt. Now, does that mean the return of Kane? Maybe. Does that mean the return of J and J Security? Maybe. Does that mean the Authority, meaning Triple H, who had a, you know, big feud with Sting back at Mania, 
decides to interfere because he does not want Sting taking the belt off of his chosen boy, Seth Rollins. Maybe. Now, granted, uh, at some point we can do a, a Rollins face turn to fight Triple H at some point. That, that might be, you know, a few more pay-per-views down the road, etc., etc. Uh, I think right now they, they, they keep Rollins as their chosen authority champion, whatever, whatever. But my bold prediction is that Sting wins this match but does not win the title. That could be DQ, that could be interference, that could be whatever you want it to be. But that is my prediction. So that being said, uh, this was my Night of Champions prediction for Night of Champions 2015. Uh, this Sunday night, where I'll be watching uh, at, at someone else's house. Um, and uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, who you think is going to win at Night of Champions this year. Uh, win, 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 win or draw. And uh, I guess last thing, is there going to be a Seamus cash in? Probably not. But if he does cash in, is he going to be successful or fail? Is he, is he, is, he, is, is he going to sand out it? Which is entirely possible. So, I don't think you're going to see Sheamus walking out of this pay-per-view with the world title. Because it's Sheamus. Anyway, I'm Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out.